So we will do inshallah two ayats of Surah Al-Baqarah today. Ayat number 14 and 15. The topic in both of these ayats are still about the munafiqeen, the hypocrites of al Madina. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning few things about the munafiqeen, about the hypocrites in these ayahs. So we'll do first a simple translation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayat number 14, Na'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim wa idha laqu, and when they meet, the munafiqeen or the hypocrite meet, Alladina Amanu to those people who have believed. So the believers are there and Munafiqeen are meeting with them. Okay? So when they meet to them, Alu, they say, the Munafiqeen say, the hypocrites say, Amanna. Just one word here is Amanna means we have believed. They say we have believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Quran. Okay. Then Allah says, Wa idha khalau, and where when they are alone, ila shayatinihim with their other friends or other people who are evil people, evil, bad people, kalu they say, the munafiqin say to those people, Inna mahakum, indeed we are with you. We are actually with you. In nama nahnu mustahazeun. In fact, we were just joking with the believers. We were just making fun. We were just laughing. We were doing mockery with them. We are actually with you. So when they meet with the believers, they say we are, we have believed. But when they go back to their own people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling them shayateen, which is the evil people, evil friends. Then munafiqeen tell them, we are actually with you. We were just joking with the other people, so we were making fun of them by saying that we believed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding to this statement by saying in the next ayat, Allahu yastahaziyo. Actually, Allah is doing this mockery with them. Which means, what Allah, what, what Allah is doing mockery means, Allah has left them in their state, in their condition, and they will not be guided. <clears throat> That's what the meaning is. Why Allah is the one who is actually, he left them in their state of mockery. And he prolongs, he stretches in their rebelling, in their transgression, in their going beyond the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last word is Ya'mahun. Ya'mahun means someone who wanders blindly. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling munafiqin that they are wandering blindly. And Allah has left them in their state of misguidance. So this is the, the uh, brief translation. So let's look at these ayahs from the beginning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa idha laku. Okay. So the word starts with wa. And, and the next word is idha. Iza means when. <coughs> Okay. Now there are two words in the Quran which come very often. Is and Iza. Both of these words mean when. But when you see the word Is without this extra alif there. It means something that is being talked about the past. When something happened in the past. But when Iza is used something which is happening now or in the future. Both mean, the meaning of both these words is when. But one is used when you talk about the past, the other is used when you're talking about the 
future of it. So here in this case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran is being revealed, everything is present, munafiqeen are there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa'idha and when. Okay? Next word here, it starts with these letters, lam, ka, and ya. <coughs> the meaning of these is to meet. Lam, Qaf, and Ya means to meet. Two people meet to each other, or, or more than two. Okay. The word from here is Laku. Laku means they met. This is the past tense of third person plural. They met. And that's the word in the Quran. And when they met. They met. And they here is the munafiqeen. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the munafiqeen, the hypocrite, that when they met. Okay? Also, you can translate this as, because it's a present, Iza is making the whole statement present, you can translate this when they meet. Okay. Both are correct. Because of the Iza. Iza brings, Iza brings the present situation. So you can say when they meet. When the Munafatin meet, the, uh, the hypocrite meets the believers. Okay? So when they meet or when they met, and when they meet. Vaida laku, when and when they meet or they met, but they here is the munafatin. Okay? So what happens when they meet? And who do they, do they meet? Then the next two words are Ladi is the starting word. Ladi means he. Okay. Its plural is Ladina. Ladina means those. Ladina means those. Okay? And if we put Al before that, it is Al Ladina, and that means the, means some special people. Okay? Al Ladina means those. Okay? Al Ladina. Okay. Then the next word, it starts with these. We have seen that many times, and it will come again. Alif, Hamza, Alif, Mim, and Noon. Amana. Amana means to believe. Okay? To believe. Okay. And if I put a vow at the end, it becomes Amanu. Amanu means they believed. Amana is, is one person believed. Amanu, many, many people believed. <coughs> so the word now is Alladina Amanu. These two words have to go together. Alladina. Amanu, so these two words from here up to here have to go together. Alladina Amanu. Those who believed. Okay, so this we the, have to translate these two words together. Those who believed. Or you can translate that as believers. 
those or those people who believed are the believers okay so we can translate that as believers Alladina amanu, those who believed, or those are the ones who are believers. So now we have two groups here. First group is Baida Laku, and these are Munafatin, and these Munafatin are meeting with the believers. So now Munafatin and believing people are meeting to each other. Okay. So that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reporting that story or the incident <coughs> that some munafiqeen went and met those people who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is Allah amanu and waida laku. So what happened after that? Qalu. The next word is Qalu. <coughs> okay. And again, this word it starts with these three letters ka vow and lam which means to say okay. and if i put three fatas and vow changes into alif kala he said and its plural is kalu they said. Okay. So the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using. Kalu. They said. Now who are they here? Munafiqeen. So when those two parties met to each other. Munafiqeen said something. Hypocrite something, said something. So they said. They said, Munafatin said something. What did they say? One word only. Amanna. Okay. So let's look at the word here. So we just saw this word. Amanna. Okay. This means to believe. Now from the rules that we have seen, if we have these three letters, fa, fa and in lam, which means to do, <coughs> and if I put an na at the end, like this thing, fa al na, <coughs> by adding fa at the end, the meaning becomes we did. So when you have the three letters and you put na at the end, it, the meaning becomes we, first person, plural, and the past. <coughs> so fa'alna, we did. So if I put na at the end of this word here, this will become we believed. Okay. And these, there are two nodes together, so this will be written as a manna with a shadda here. A manna. This, this is a man and this is na. A manna. A manna means we believed. So munafiqeen or hypocrite are saying to the believers, we believed. Just one word. And we believe means we believe in Allah, we believe in the Quran, we believe in the Prophet. We are believing. Okay? But they are lying actually. They are not speaking the truth, but they are lying. They are just saying to them, we believed. Now what happens? After saying that, 
these munafiqeen and hypocrites went back to their people. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying next. Wa'iza. This is the same word says there. And when. Okay. And when. Now, the next word, ha, lam, and wow are the root word letters, and this means to be alone. To be alone. Halau means to be alone. <clears throat> or to be free. Okay. For example, there's a word in Farsi, khalawat. Alone, to be alone. Halau means to be alone. Okay? So this word is halau means when they are alone. When they are alone. Okay? Halau. Halau means they are alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that and these people munafiqeen when they are alone 